Hello everyone, Jeff with the Green Review here. Pruning hydrangeas is easy if you know which kind of hydrangea you have and whether it blooms on new wood or old wood. There are six common species sold in the United States. Four bloom on old wood and two bloom on new wood. Hydrangeas are determinate growers with flowers forming on the ends of each branch. Big leaf hydrangea, hydrangea macrophylla, climbing hydrangea, hydrangea anomala petalaris, oak leaf hydrangea, hydrangea quercifolia, and mountain hydrangea, hydrangea serrata, bloom in early to midsummer on old wood. They set next year's flower buds on the current wood soon after blooming. So pruning is best done right after blooming. If pruned in the fall, winter, or spring, some or all of the flower buds will be cut off. They can be maintained with a renewal pruning. Watch my video on renewal pruning for more details. But a quick recap is to prune out at ground level a few old stems each spring to cause the plant to send out new stems that are healthier and will bloom better. The problem many people have with the big leaf and mountain hydrangeas is that the flower buds are killed over the winter time in northern areas and the plants do not bloom at all. Some new varieties of big leaf hydrangea and mountain hydrangea are repeat bloomers that bloom on old wood early in the summer and on new wood later in the summer. If the old wood flower buds are killed in the winter, the new flower buds will still bloom. Don't prune these varieties until after the second blooming period. Cutting them in winter or spring will remove some flower buds. Smooth hydrangea, hydrangea arborescens, also better known by several of its old variety names like Annabelle, Grandiflora, and the new varieties Invincible Spirit and Incredible, bloom on new wood in mid to late summer. Panicle hydrangea, Hydrangea paniculata blooms in late summer on new wood. Both of these hydrangeas can be pruned in fall or early winter to prevent the large flower heads from accumulating too much snow and breaking the plant in half. They can also be pruned in winter or early spring. They can be pruned lightly just to cut off the old flower heads or with the heavy summer renewal pr method of pruning. This would be cutting the whole plant down in the case of smooth hydrangeas like these and cutting Panicle hydrangea stems back severely. These smooth hydrangeas are probably the variety Annabelle. It has slender stems that have a hard time holding up the huge mop head style of flowers. New varieties like Incredible have stronger stems that stay more upright, and some newer varieties have pink flowers at least some part of the time as they get older. Older Annabelle varieties can be pruned once when the stems are about two feet tall. This will delay flowering a few weeks, but the stems will be sturdier and they will still end up flowering on the ends of the new growth. Panicle hydrangea flower clusters are in the form of a panicle. Older varieties are often very large plants, but many of the newer varieties are more compact and fit better into more landscape settings. The flowers often fade to a pink in cool weather. Panicle hydrangeas can be cut back with a heavy pruning in early spring. Some of the older varieties are pruned into tree shapes. Even when you do the heavy pruning, they going to send up long stalks of new growth and it's going to flower at the ends of the new growth. This big leaf hydrangea is finishing up blooming for this year, but next year's flower buds are already starting to form on the ends of the branch. Big leaf hydrangeas tend to be more sensitive to pH problems. You can see the chlorosis here. And this is the species that can be changed from pink to purple to blue, depending on the pH of the soil. We talk about that in other videos. And the other varieties are always going to be white, except that they will sometimes fade to pink as the blooms get older in some cases, but they're not affected by pH. You cannot change a white hydrangea into a pink hydrangea by changing the pH. Oak leaf hydrangeas are slower grower than most other hydrangeas. The flower bud is on the end of the branch over the winter, so do not prune it off. It's not just on over the winter time, it's on from midsummer through the fall, through the winter, and into the spring when it's going to bloom. So any pruning after the normal blooming time is going to be cutting off flower buds. Even if you have a small plant and it hasn't bloomed in the past, it's, when it does set a flower bud, you don't want to do the pruning. So be careful to not prune off this flower bud on the very end of the branch anytime except right after this normal blooming time. Climbing hydrangeas rarely need pruning, and when they do, we usually aren't concerned about the flowers. They bloom on old wood, so any pruning after midsummer will potentially be cutting off some flower buds. Like I said, 
you know, usually we're just making sure it doesn't stick out too far, doesn't grow where we don't want it to grow, and we're not concerned about flowers on that portion of the plant. We just worry about the flowers on the areas that we have already growing. So what's this mean to me? Just find out which variety or species of hydrangea you have. Find out when it blooms, whether it's on the old wood or the new wood. You do the pruning after the flowering on the old wood so that it can grow more wood that year. So that, it, that will be the old wood the next year with the flower buds already on it. Any pruning during the winter will cut off those flower buds. So don't prune until after it blooms. And on the plants that bloom late in the summer that are blooming on new wood at the ends of the new branches, you can prune them back heavily after they bloom and all the way through until the next spring and growing season when they're going to start blooming again. So you can prune them back heavily, you can prune them back lightly, and you can prune them over a much longer period of time and then let them grow and they will bloom and then you can cut them back. And this is Jeff with The Greener View. Thanks for watching.